Okay, uh, let's get the show going. Uh, welcome to the uh, press conference um, at the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan. Uh, my name is Tetsuo Jimbo. I'm a director of this club and uh, your moderator today. And uh, today's guest is, of course, uh, a very famous Mr. Joji Morishita. Um, I'm sure you, you know, all of you know he is a commissioner, uh, Japan's commissioner uh, to the International Whaling uh, Commission, IWC. And uh, this issue of uh, Japan's uh, scientific whaling uh, became a hot issue uh, in March when, uh, well, as you know, Australia sued Japan uh, at the uh, ICJ, and uh, the decision was. Uh, um, Japan must halt its uh, Southern Ocean uh, whaling activities. Um, so uh, we all wanted to see what the uh, next step is for Japan. And just coincidentally, um, it was just uh, actually two days ago, uh, Prime Minister Abe uh, made a uh, remark at the, uh, the Diet that uh, he basically said uh, he will work hard to get international understanding for the resumption of commercial whaling. And at the same time, um, it, it was also news that uh, uh, Lakuten, uh, Lakuten, which is a sort of an online mall, uh, uh, banned uh, its uh, tenants or the, the shops uh, to sell whale meat. Uh, and uh, Agri Agriculture Minister Hayashi, I think that was also uh, two days ago, uh, expressed regret over the company's decision uh, because uh, whale meat itself is uh, uh, totally legal uh, in Japan. So uh, uh, things are happening around uh, the whale issue in Japan. And uh, today's guest, uh, Mr. Morishita, is uh, like I said, he's a commissioner. He's now the commissioner uh, for uh, to IWC since uh, uh, that was last year, right? Last June. But he's been involved in the IWC. Uh, we just spoke about, talked about it. Uh, he's, been, he's attended the IWC for 15 times. Um, before be becoming commissioner, he was an alternate commissioner. And even before that, he was involved in it. So uh, he's sort of a, like a Mr. IWC for Japan. Uh, I think it's fair to say that. And uh, uh, he will talk about, um, First of all, of course, the decision by uh, ICJ, and then uh, what's next for Japan, uh, and uh, some some of the comments made by uh, cabinet ministers uh, and prime minister uh, regarding the uh, whaling uh, activities in Japan. So uh, please welcome uh, Mr. Joji Morishita. Oh, and before going into his speech, uh, please uh, turn off your uh, cell phone or put it in a silent mode. Uh, so that it would not be inter uh, interrupted. Uh, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Morisha will speak about half an hour uh, with no interpretation, of course. And then uh, uh, we'll have a Q&A session. So Mr. Morisha, please. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Jimbo-san. And um, uh, it is my great pleasure to attend this uh, uh, very interesting opportunity to talk about the wedding issue. Um, Actually, my appearance before uh, this forum is uh, this is the third time, and uh, always about whaling issue, and that does not mean I'm stupid. And um, uh, the, my previous uh, uh, appearance twice was quite positive, and I learned a lot uh, from uh, uh, this opportunity. So I, I highly appreciate a very professional manner this particular club is handling the IWC issue. That's why I came back. And uh, uh, today, as Jimbo-san explained, uh, I will talk about uh, mainly uh, the issue of uh, International Court of Justice and um, uh, Japan's course of action from here, uh, including some general issues. The, uh, ICJ decision was made on the, uh, uh, the last day of uh, March, and uh, as the day passes, uh, I feel like uh, now that uh, that ICJ decision is actually good for Japan. 
And um, as the day passes, my that that impression of mine has been uh, uh, further strengthened. I will explain why uh, in detail. Uh, but before I actually go into the detail about ICJ decision, um, I think I need to talk about uh, many uh, gaps in the uh, whaling dispute. Uh, there are many gaps, for example, about the perception of a particular issue. The most famous one is uh, so-called the uh, commercial whaling moratorium that was adopted in uh, 1982, so more than 30 years ago. And for many people, the commercial whaling moratorium is a decision by the world or by the IWC to prohibit whaling uh, maybe permanently. Or many people think that um, uh, the moratorium or adoption of a moratorium uh, has established a particular uh, perception that whaling is something bad. Well, the world does not accept whaling anymore. But if you actually look what happened in 1982, and if you look at uh, uh, the exact language of the uh, so-called schedule of International Whaling Commission, and if you look at what the IWC, especially the scientific committee, has been doing for the last 30 years, uh, hope you uh, recognize there is actual gap between general perception and the actual decision which was set by the so-called adoption of a commercial whaling. Uh, the reason why I'm talking about this is maybe the ICJ decision might provide another gap between uh, those who like to see as a sort of a final nail on the coffin of IWC or whaling issue and those who see some uh, possibilities or even recognition of whaling by the ICJ judgment. Let me start. Uh, this is the actual language which established the uh, commercial whaling moratorium in 1982. Uh, I will read it slowly so that you can uh, see the sense. Notwithstanding the other provision of paragraph 10, this is a schedule, uh, catch limits for the killing for commercial purposes of whales from all stocks, uh, blah, 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 uh, shall be zero. So the, the catch limit is set zero by this decision. This provision will be kept under review based upon the best scientific advice, best scientific advice, and by 1990, at the latest, the Commission will undertake a comprehensive assessment of the effect, uh, effects of this decision on whale stocks and consider modification of this provision and the establishment of other, other than zero catch limits. So if you read this straight, first of all, you might recognize that this particular wording is not saying that whaling is a bad thing or commercial activity is a bad thing or whaling is prohibited. The first part of this language only says the catch quota will be zero. And by 1990, at the latest, so in almost 10, in uh, approximately 10 years after the adoption, uh, there will be, or there should be, a comprehensive assessment of a scientific situation or scientific uh, knowledge about the uh, whale stocks. And based on that scientific activity, the IWC now consider modification of this paragraph and also consider a catch limit other than zero. So this is actually a uh, provision setting forth the process of resuming the whaling. At least you can read like this. And when you look at the actual statements and interventions at the floor of the International Whaling Commission, 
in 1982 and previous years, that interpretation is further strengthened. And many countries proposing or proponent of this uh, particular paragraph says this is just a temporary uh, stop of whaling activities. It is necessary because the scientific evidence is uncertain. That's why this language says let's collect more science and the conduct comprehensive assessment. And they even said that this is a normal uh, conservation and management procedure for any resources, marine resources not different from any other, any other fisheries activities. So when, if the enough scientific evidence is collected, uh, there are room for the resumption of whaling. So this might be very different from public perception of so-called commercial whaling moratorium. But sometimes commercial whaling moratorium is almost understood as setting an ethical code, ethical condition for the whaling. Again, however, if you look at this language, at least 30 years ago, the situation was very different. And also this language is a direct reason for Japan uh, to initiate a so-called scientific whaling. Again, as you can see, this language is asking for a, a comprehensive assessment based upon the best scientific advice. The reason for the adoption was uncertainty in science. Logical conclusion is good to conduct science, to collect more data. And that was the reason for Japan to initiate scientific whaling at that time. So hopefully, uh, you can see uh, some gap between public perception and actual provision adopted by commercial whaling. And also, this so-called gap is the cause of uh, a dispute in whaling issues. Because public perception and actual requirement based on this language is so different, there are room for the controversy. Those who are opposing the whaling issue like to or want to depend on the public perception, while us or the Scientific Committee of the International Whaling Commission just try to follow this language and continue to look at the scientific aspects of our whale resources for the possible consideration of a other catch limits other than zero. So uh, whaling is not illegal under this language. Whaling is not totally prohibited. To whaling is not totally prohibited permanently. It's more of a, a process set forward by the International Whaling Commission to the possible resumption of whaling. At least that's a possible interpretation of this language. Like this, as I said at the beginning, the ICJ decision's public perception is the ICJ decision prohibits now uh, scientific quoting. Or some headline says, quoting is denied. So uh, that could be understood as the total denial by the uh, highest court of law of uh, quoting activities itself. But I will show you some provisions or some paragraphs in the ICJ judgment so that to present a actual uh, meaning of uh, uh, ICJ decision. And this is a reason that I now feel that ICJ decision is good for us. Uh, there are hundreds of uh, uh, paragraphs in the decision, uh, and the, uh, uh, some of them is uh, quite reasonable from our point of view. Others are not. Uh, but the very final part uh, 
so-called remedies, says the uh, uh, Japan's research activities in the Antarctic, called JALPA-2, uh, is outside the scope of Article 8, uh, Item 1 of uh, International Convention of Regulation of Whaling. Uh, simply put, uh, they said uh, uh, Japan's uh, uh, scientific activities in the Antarctic is against the uh, convention which established the International Whaling Commission. Uh, so they uh, decided that Japan should revoke that permit and refrain from uh, issuing the similar uh, or in the same form of uh, uh, permit for the research activities. But the uh, first, this paragraph 55, uh, 56 is very important for us. Through the course of uh, uh, argument between Japan and Australia and New Zealand, which took four years, the, one of the main argument by Australian government was the, uh, the convention which established the uh, IWC uh, almost 70 years ago uh, is now uh, evolving. Uh, because the world has changed, so at the beginning, this convention might be for the uh, uh, management of avoiding activities. Uh, but they argued that uh, now this uh, uh, organization or convention is for the protection of whales. And uh, to uh, make that argument, they have relied on the adoption of a series of recommendations and amendment to the schedule of uh, uh, convention. And this is uh, uh, what court has uh, expressed. The the ICJ said, as you can see, that the, uh, the, the purpose of the convention or purpose of the International Whaling Commission remains at, at the same uh, as when that was originally adopted. So uh, as you can see from the fourth line, the IWC has decided, or uh, parties to the IWC decided, that the, to conclude a convention to provide for the proper, proper uh, conservation of whaling stocks and thus make possible the orderly development of the whaling industry. And this was the original objective of the organization. And as you can see from the red part, uh, ICJ said amendment to the schedule and the recommendations by the IWC may put emphasis on one or the other objectives pursued by the convention, but cannot uh, alter its object and the purposes. So the purpose of the organization remains. And this is exactly what Japan argued through the four years. And that was confirmed. Um, other dispute between Japan and Australia through the ICJ case was either uh, the uh, contracting government or members to the IWC has a right to issue a uh, permit independent from the rest of uh, our convention to uh, catch whales and uh, conduct the research activities. Um, this one uh, also confirms our position. This is the actual language of uh, so-called Article 8, Paragraph 1. Uh, of the convention. The killing, taking, and treating of whales in accordance with the provision of this article shall be exempt uh, from the operation of this convention. So whaling conducted under a special permit, that is Article 8, uh, scientific whaling, uh, which meets the condition of Article 8 is not subject to the obligation under the schedule. Uh, this is legal language, but all I have to say is this is uh, uh, in line with our argument at the ICJ. Uh, procedure. Uh, also, the issue whether the lethal sampling uh, is uh, uh, now allowed by the IWC or only non lethal uh, research activities should be conducted was the uh, subject of a dispute between, part between the parties to the ICJ. Uh, this is also the language from the ICJ decision. Paragraph 83, the, uh, as you can see, the Article 8 expressly contemplates the use of a lethal method. And the court is of the view that Australia and New Zealand overstate the legal 
significance of the recommendatory resolutions and guidelines on which they rely. Those recommendations, uh, recommendatory uh, resolution and guideline, is promoting the use of uh, uh, non-lethal activities or non-lethal research activities. And um, Australia and New Zealand also said the lethal method is quite exceptional and only be allowed uh, when no other means are available. Uh, for this one, the court also said, but they, meaning Australia and New Zealand, do not establish a requirement that the lethal method be used only when other methods are not available. This is also in line with Japan's argument. Uh, the sales of a whale meat after the research activities is always used as a reason that the Japan scientific uh, uh, research is of a commercial purpose or a commercial nature. Uh, this is court's view. In the court view, the fact that the program involves the sale of a whale meat and the use of a proceeds to fund research is not sufficient, taken alone, to cause a special permit, the scientific wording, to fall outside Article 8. So there is a, a, a clear view by the ICJ that selling a whale meat will not uh, or does not mean that activity is a commercial uh, activity. Um, this is important for uh, those who are directly involved in IWC issue. It's, it is a little bit uh, technical. But IWC has been engaged in a process called Revised Management Procedure, RMP. And this procedure is established to calculate the uh, catching quota for the commercial purpose. And IWC has been involved in this uh, exercise at the Scientific Committee since the end of the 80s. So they have been engaged in exercise to allow commercial whaling. And this is also the language from ICJ. The parties, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, agree that RMP is a conserv conservative and precautionary management tool, and that it remains applicable management procedure by the BC, although its implementation has not been completed. So, in the interpretation of an uh, international court of justice, uh, all parties agree that RMP is a management measures uh, to calculate quota. So assumption is it is OK for the IWC to be continued in the exercise of calculating catch quota. This also looks very inconsistent or maybe even surprising for some uh, outside observers that IWC is actually engaged in exercise to calculate catch quota for the commercial whaling. But this is uh, now uh, accepted or recognized by the uh, ICJ, or they even said that all parties agree that RMP is the method. Um, this is also important for us. The court finds that use of lethal sampling, killing whales per se, is not unreasonable in relation to the uh, research activities or research objectives of JARPA 2. So their view is it's not unreasonable for Japan to actually kill animals if you look at the objectives of a JARPA 2. And they didn't make any decisions about um, uh, merits or the merits of our objective of JARPA 2. The, this final uh, paragraph is the reason that Japan, uh, or reason for the Japan's course of action, which I will explain uh, briefly now. The court says, the, it is expected that Japan will take account of the reasoning and the conclusions contained in this ICJ judgment as it evaluates the possibility of granting any future permits, any future permits under Article 8, Paragraph 1 of the Convention. So assumption of the court is that uh, Japan could, maybe, will uh, look at the new research plan. And that's OK for Japan to propose a new plan, 
which involves the killing of whales, as long as that is meeting or that take account of the reasoning and the conditions set by the ICJ this time. So this is a reason for us to declare that we like to uh, propose a new research plan that will meet the reasoning and the con conclusions set by the ICJ. Well, let me explain the course of action uh, by Japan. Uh, actually, this is based on the statement by uh, uh, Mr. Um, Yoshimas Hayashi, uh, current Minister of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. And that was issued on 18th of April. Um, first of all, uh, Mr. Hayashi uh, stated as a basic uh, position of Japan as, as follows. The ICJ judgment reaffirms that one of the purposes of the uh, ICLW is a sustainable exploitation of oil resources. You now remember that the first paragraph uh, 56 I just explained, which accepted the original purpose of a uh, uh, convention. So uh, we, or well, Mr. Hayashi made this statement based on that uh, uh, paragraph. Uh, in light of this, Japan has confirmed its basic policy of pursuing the resumption of com commercial whaling by conducting research whaling. This is also in line with the ICJ decisions which I explained. Uh, as a uh, specific activities or specific course of action, uh, Mr. Hayashi uh, also stated, uh, for the uh, Antarctic Ocean, uh, we, Japan has decided that uh, we cancel JARPA 2 for uh, this coming season, uh, starting from the winter, uh, northern hemisphere winter of this uh, year. Uh, we will only conduct a so-called sighting survey, uh, non-lethal activities in Antarctic in the coming season. Uh, for the uh, Northwestern Pacific, we have uh, two research uh, uh, projects. Uh, one is in Antarctic, another one is uh, Northwestern Pacific around Japanese borders. Uh, for Northwestern Pacific, second one, uh, we have uh, uh, reduced its uh, scope and size in terms of a number of animals to be taken and in terms of a species uh, to be taken in order to respond to the ICJ decision as much as possible. Uh, you remember that the last paragraph I show you is talking about the court's expectation that Japan will take into account the reasoning and the conclusions by ICJ in the conducting of future research activities. So this is a direct response uh, to that provision. Uh, for the fiscal year 2015, so the year uh, next year and uh, thereafter, uh, the, we will uh, submit a new research program for the Antarctic, uh, which uh, uh, will re reflect the uh, reasoning and conclusion of ICJ judgment. And in accordance with the uh, rules set by International Whaling Commission, we have to submit the draft research plan uh, six months before the next scientific committee of International Whaling Commission. And the next International Whaling Commission uh, is probably around May of next year. So that, meet, that means uh, we will provide a, a draft research plan either November or December of this year. And there will be a, a series of uh, uh, reviews and the discussions by the scientists. And uh, that discussion will be uh, finally conducted by the scientific committee of uh, uh, next year. Uh, well, this is minky whale. And um, uh, let me make a few more points before I close my presentation. The uh, for uh, Japan or Japanese national in general, I think so. The, uh, the whaling dispute is oftentimes uh, 
regarded or accepted as an attack from outside to Japan. And uh, uh, often the, uh, uh, it is described that Japan is uh, aggressively seeking commercial whaling or attacking NGOs uh, in the whaling dispute. But for many gem general public, at least, the uh, whaling dispute is also seen as an uh, attack uh, to Japan from outside world. And uh, uh, if whaling activities involve uh, overexploitation uh, or uh, the non-controlled activities, uh, it is uh, uh, expected that Japan will be blamed, uh, like any other fisheries or any other resource uh, utilization activities. But what we like to achieve is uh, sustainable whaling. The catch quota is uh, within a sustainable uh, number to be calculated by that RMP or any other scientific means. And uh, uh, there will be a, a control and enforcement measures so that there will be no uh, violation. Uh, however, uh, hoiding is oftentimes criticized, again, from outside as uh, uh, evil activities sometimes, as the uh, uh, barbaric activities or inhumane activities. And uh, uh, there are no space or no place for whaling activities to survive in the 21st century. We see something like that so often. And uh, if you are living in Japan, you feel like this is a, you, it is pr probably natural for many people that this is attack from Japan without any uh, legitimate reason. I'm not saying that uh, uh, the, that's a, the sort of position of a Japanese government. Uh, I'm only talking about the general public's uh, perception about whaling issue. This is another gap of perception uh, looking at this issue from inside and outside of Japan. Um, we are actually quite eager to uh, address uh, many of the environmental issues the uh, uh, worsening ocean environment in, environment in general, or effects of a climate change on waves, uh, or pollution of uh, the seawaters from land-based uh, activities, or looking at whale watching, other non-lethal way of uh, uh, living with whales. Um, however, now, these uh, uh, issues are always presented as the uh, alternative to whaling in a discussion in IWC. So when, for example, I, I say at the IWC uh, meeting that we are happy to handle the pollution issue or effects of pollution to uh, whales, that is understood that Japan now gives up whaling. And this dichotomy is uh, wrong and um, uh, the often black and white discussion, no room for uh, in the middle, uh, is one of the uh, character of a whaling dispute. And this is something I like to change. And Japan is, again, eager to uh, handle issues other than whaling itself. And we like to see a abundant and the healthy oil stocks, where oil stocks, this uh, language itself is taboo for some people. Uh, but the one thing is certain, we have a one common goal, that we all like to see the whales to remain in the world for 100 years to come. Um, Another point I'd like to make is the whaling issue is oftentimes as, uh, uh, or described as a small Japanese industry trying to survive and influencing uh, Japanese government officials and the politicians. Uh, and uh, uh, the issue is too small to, uh, uh, for Japan to risk its reputations in the world or something like that. Um, well, there are many different uh, interests in the whaling issue. 
uh, maybe for the people living in the Hoi community in the coastal water uh, of Japan, uh, that's a very important issue because that means their, their whole life sometimes. But at least for me, Hoi issue or the issue of uh, either Japan can uh, resume Hoi or not is very small, small part of a larger issue. I see this issue as a, a symbol of a <clears throat> larger, larger issue of a human relation to the uh, uh, living resources or li living animals. And unless you are totally 100% uh, uh, vegetarian, uh, you cannot avoid eating some animal. And um, how to uh, treat animals for our food or for other purposes is very important issue for, should be very important issue for all humankind. And uh, if when we cannot uh, uh, be, all of us cannot be a totally vegetarian, uh, there shouldn't be any uh, arbitrary code or uh, a situation where one country imposes its own way of thinking to others. What I'm talking about is uh, even if some countries think that whales are special or sacred, as long as uh, whales are sustainably utilized, that uh, uh, view should not be imposed on others who like to utilize the whale resources. Uh, for example, if uh, people in, in India try to impose their way of treatment of uh, cows to the rest of the world and promote the prohibition of eating uh, McDonald's and all hamburgers, what will happen? So, well, actually, I can support that one. Sometimes uh, hum making hamburger is so uh, uh, environmentally burdensome as some of you may know. But the, uh, uh, we think this is a, uh, or whaling dispute also involves larger issues like that. I do recognize that, that there are a uh, concept of uh, so-called uh, uh, charismatic animals or ionic animals. And, um, uh, the, uh, myself or our kids uh, always think that uh, some large, big, beautiful animals are special as compared to other animals. Uh, but there are some people in, in the different part of the world uh, that they do not share the same view about particular animals. So uh, uh, some nation or some country might decide that they treat particular animal different weight from the rest of animal kingdom, uh, that's fine, but that should not be imposed on other countries. Um, finally, the, uh, this issue is also seen as a cultural issue. Uh, Japan is trying to defend its uh, whaling culture from outside of the world Therefore, uh, the discussion is whether this activity is, is Japan's culture or not. Uh, if uh, uh, you have been observing what I'm, I'm been saying, I've been saying at the International Whaling Commission and other places, uh, you might uh, recognize that I have never used this cultural argument in the whaling dispute. Uh, because I don't think that's the uh, main argument uh, for Japan uh, to uh, promote the sustainable use of whales and other resources. If you use cultural argument, uh, I think that's unfair for uh, uh, some possible countries in the future who might like to use uh, oil as a resources in the future. When the stocks is become more abundant and when the RMP is in place in IWC, uh, we cannot deny those countries without any culture 
but have some aspirations of utilizing this particular species because they don't have a culture. So the issue needs to be uh, treated as an issue of science, as an issue of international law. Of course, there are uh, aspects of a respect for differences of way of thinking uh, between different nations. Just to avoid a, a misunderstanding, I'm not denying the cultural point in this discussion. And the protecting one's culture is a, a quite legitimate uh, incentive, uh, not just in this issue or any other issues. Uh, but the reason, well, the uh, main reason for me uh, in promoting sustainable use of this particular species is not the cultural, more of a scientific and logical reason. Well, the, uh, hopefully, I talk too much maybe, uh, I give you some uh, new perspective or uh, some uh, hint for uh, further thinking about this uh, controversial issues. And I'm uh, uh, very happy to uh, receive any questions. And uh, again, thank you very much for uh, listening to me today. Well, thank you, Ms. Amrishita. Uh, and uh, we're a little bit past you, so let's uh, quickly go to Q&A. And uh, please uh, cite your name and uh, your affiliation and no speech, please. I try to uh, get as many questions as possible, so uh, let's get going. Let's start with the working press. Anyone from the working press? Anyone from the working press? Go ahead. Hi, uh, my name is Toko Sakiguchi from the Wall Street Journal. Um, I had a question about shark fishing. Um, shark fishing and particularly finning for the shark fins are gaining a lot of uh, attention and some people say that it might follow the way of whales in terms of how, it, how it's perceived. Um, and I was wondering um, whether, number one, what if the Japanese government you know, sees the shark shark issue in any similar light uh, as whaling? And number two, um, do you think that the Japanese government's PR, uh, at least for whaling, w was it uh, adequate and successful um, to, promo or to promote what uh, all the things that you've said about uh, how Japan perceives whaling and whether they can apply it to shark fishing as well? Thank you. Mm. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, this is another perception, uh, maybe, gap, that uh, uh, Japan sounds like always opposing to the uh, management and conservation of uh, sharks. Uh, uh, that's not actually the fact. And the, uh, uh, in many of our regional fisheries management organizations, uh, Japan has been actually promoting the conservation and management of sharks as uh, resources, again. And uh, when we uh, uh, see that the particular shark species are either depleted or heavily overfished, uh, Japan even suggested the uh, ban of a fishery uh, for that particular species. Uh, I think that happened in the uh, uh, International Convention of uh, Conservation of Atlantic Tuna uh, Organization. And um, uh, the, the, the perception that Japan is always opposing the shark uh, conservation was probably established because of a uh, uh, discussion at the so-called CITES, the Washington Convention, which uh, has the, uh, 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 which tried to uh, restrict international trade uh, in order to prevent the extinction of a particular uh, species of animals and plants. Uh, we did not oppose the handling of shark uh, uh, because we, uh, he oppose the conservation and the management of uh, sharks. The, uh, the, the problem for us was uh, uh, more of uh, the uh, venue or best venue or best uh, uh, mechanism for the conservation and management of uh, sharks. The uh, ISIS or uh, sorry, CITES uh, is an organization which can only control international trade. 
But shark、uh, utilization actually starts from the ocean, fishing activities, and marketing, and landing, and marketing include the domestic marketing. So, CITES only h a n d l e very small part of uh, uh, the sh actual shark hunting by human beings. Uh, on the other hand, the regional fisheries management organization, including that、um, uh, International Convention for、uh, Conservation of Atlantic Tuna, ICAT or ECAT, or any other、uh, RFMOs, has the uh, uh, regula regulations、uh, from the beginning, catching activities, and also the marketing. And they have a documentation system to uh, uh, track down the movement. Of、uh, tunas and the sh、uh, some sharks. And we thought、uh, the RFMOs are a better place to、uh, actually conduct conservation and management of sharks.、Uh, but unfortunately,、uh, oftentimes Japan is uh, uh, reported as、uh, opposing the shark conservation and management. And um, uh, the, this forms a part of a public relations or PR uh, issue. Uh, It took me、uh, 40 minutes, 35 minutes to explain ICJ decision and the Japan's course of action today. I did very quickly.、Uh, but uh, the, for those who are、uh, promoting the idea that hoiling was denied by ICJ, they need only three or four words hoiling、uh, was denied. And、um, uh, the All of us are busy and try to, uh, uh, unless you are very much interested in this issue, you will not spend more than a few minutes to try to understand this issue. And、uh, in many of the press,、uh, well, in the uh, uh, daily newspapers, for example, the h o i l i n g issue is oftentimes handled in, in this size at most, sometimes three or four lines. And try to get the whole picture is、uh, very difficult, oftentimes. Well, it's not just about the whaling issue.、Uh, many other important issues need s to be presented and understood and digested in a very short uh, uh, language. I'm not blaming, this is a way of life now. And however, that oftentimes、uh, creates a situation. Where sound bite or the word bite is the one which will be widely accepted by the general public and politicians and even by the government, rather than the lengthy explanation of a total picture of a particular situation. So uh, uh, it's a challenge for us,、uh, but that does not mean that、uh, we should not do any、uh, public relations activities or、uh, information、uh, dissemination. And that's why I'm here. And、um, uh, the, just one more point I'd like to say is the oftentimes,、uh, again, I'm not、uh, blaming any of you, but oftentimes the、uh, articles or、uh, coverage which go totally against public perception is not、uh, uh, reported sometimes. I have several friends from journalism and I try to write a neutral article. And that article is oftentimes denied by the desk, saying that、uh, this is not what the audience is uh, expecting. Uh, unfortunately, that's true. And, uh, uh, well, the, the, again, I'm not blaming anyone. And、um, uh, the, that's the challenges、uh, we have to uh, work uh, in this.、Uh, uh, Important issue for us. Thank you. Okay,、uh, next question. Okay, you go ahead and then we just end. Great. Thank you very much for your presentation. I'm from,、uh, my name is Mike Kawa from the Newsweek magazine.、Um, I have two questions.、Um, how, one, the first question is How likely is it for the Japanese government to simply reject the moratorium? And just go commercial fishing, just like Norway does. And second question is this might be a very funny question because you are from the IWC, but 
how reliable is IWC? IWC? Because as you mentioned in the very first page of this um, presentation, um, um, this um, 98, um, sorry, um, this scientific advice should be reassessed by 1990s, but this never happens. Never happens. After 30 years, or nearly 30 years, it never happens, mm -hmm. right? And also, um, the scientific measurements, the how many whales are actually living in the ocean. Um, I asked the Tokyo Kaiyo University um, Professor Kato, who mm -hmm. is a committee member of the IDC, IWC Science Committee. Um, he said the measurements or the, the way to um, calculate the how many whales are actually living mm -hmm. very scientifically has already been established very firmly. Mm -hmm. But the, the IWC never tried to admit mm -hmm. that scientific way of calculation. So in that sense, how reliable is it that the IWC is? This is my second question. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, for the first one, the uh, Japan is always trying to follow the rule and uh, law. And uh, the, in case of Norway, uh, they submitted so-called objection to the adoption of a commercial whaling moratorium when it was adopted in 1982. And that is the uh, uh, legal right accepted by the uh, convention itself, so 100% legal. Uh, Japan did the same at the time. Uh, but we had to withdraw that uh, objection uh, through the negotiation with the United States. So we are pressured. Um, the, uh, it is not possible under the uh, standing rule that for us to resubmit the uh, uh, objection to the moratorium. So uh, if we ignore the moratorium now, it will be uh, uh, interpreted as illegal activities. And uh, the currently, we have, uh, uh, well, until now, 30 years from the adoption, we have never uh, used that option. And um, uh, Japan is always law-abiding country, as you know very well, sometimes too much. But uh, the same applies to this situation. Uh, for the uh, reliability of uh, International Whaling Commission, well, that's a big problem. And um, uh, IWC has been trying to, uh, uh, we used a lot of words, like uh, normalize it or uh, uh, try to rescue the IWC. And we uh, conducted so-called a peace talk uh, between two parties. And as far as I remember, there are four attempts uh, since the end of the 90s and all failed. Uh, so uh, uh, many of IWC participants think that IWC as an organization is now dysfunctional. Uh, that's very sad. Uh, but our basic position is that we need an international organization which covers both conservation and the management of whales. And without IWC, there will be no rule. And that's, what we, that's not what we like to see. And we have a responsibility and even obligation to save this organization. And that's a responsibility of uh, our country who actually like to use resource as sustainable manner. And that's our basic position. Uh, my name is uh, Hiroi Kushita, and I'm with the uh, Kokubin Shimbun, founded by Dr. Misoho. Um, your possible interpreta imp interpretation regarding Schedule 10E. My question is, although I agree 100% with you, how prevalent or general is your possible interpretation? Because it's a you know, reason like a total denial basis is not. Mm -hmm. So how well your interpretation is accepted by media or the general public and the international society? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, for those who are involved in the IWC, I hope I've read this uh, language at least once uh, before they come to IWC, but I doubt it. And uh, many uh, the participants in IWC just come to the IWC uh, based on the perception that the co commercial moratorium was a decision by the WC to prohibit the whaling permanently. 
and I keep uh, uh, teaching or enlightening the uh, uh, participants. That's not the case. Uh, however, the uh, the interpretation I just explained is uh, uh, not convenient for those who uh, like to end whaling, and not so convenient for many of uh, uh, non-governmental organizations. And the, uh, uh, then the probably, again, going back to the issue of acceptance of uh, uh, perception by the general public, either uh, influenced by the uh, media or NGOs or politicians, many things. Uh, is probably uh, the uh, the other side has much more acceptance, uh, but I like I have been uh, always trying to uh, change that perception as much as possible, and I feel like uh, every year at IWC that I'm teaching the first graders at the elementary school uh, every year, so that the very basic of our IWC decision needs to be understood, even if they take the different position from us. Okay, um, then I think you were, you, you want to ask a question? No? Okay. Yes, yes I do. Uh, wait a minute, okay. Uh, okay, she first, then uh, you. Uh, Mr. Marisha agreed to stay a little bit longer, so uh, we, I think I have question, uh, time to uh, get those questions. So let's go ahead. Yes, uh, my name is Judith Stalpers from the Netherlands, Elsevier Magazine. I have uh, one factual question, I want a, a Czech question. Uh, you said um, until 90, um, no, all catches were limited to zero. On, uh, did Japan also uh, limit it uh, before starting the research whaling? Did Japan also uh, had a zero policy, so no catch at all? Mm -hmm. um, then. I have a question about uh, scientific methods. Um, there are several scientific methods going around in the world, and also science, uh, scientists do not agree always. Uh, I just heard your answer on the shark and um, a tuna question, where you favored electronic uh, methods to do research. Mm. Uh, and in the world, there are several institutions who also favor uh, electronic uh, methods to research, um, uh, to get a view of how sustainable the community of whales is in the world and of the different species. Mm -hmm. um, and then also in, your, in the answer, of, or rather in the question of the new Newsweek colleague, um, apparently, the population of whales has been established several times, and I uh, hear about it implicitly that the population would be large enough to allow commercial whaling. So why? Uh, so now my question my, uh, is: Why, in the first place, does Japan, as a high-tech country, does not favor uh, non-lethal non research methods? or does favor the lethal methods as well? And the second question, if this population has been established, why doing the research at all? And just uh, uh, concentrate your policies on uh, getting your RPM being, uh, or what was the? RMP? RMP being uh, implemented and leave the population grow further in the meantime. Okay. Thank you. Uh, first one, the, uh, Japan has uh, uh, stopped all the commercial whaling activities uh, in response to the uh, adoption of a commercial whaling moratorium. So uh, uh, there are no commercial whaling activities since then. The, uh, you hear uh, also, uh, other, or uh, you hear that Japan's uh, whaling catch other than research activities. Uh, but IWC has its own competence or limit of competence. The, uh, uh, there are whale species which is outside of uh, uh, IWC's uh, jurisdiction. And the uh, all whaling activities you hear in Japan, uh, which continue to be conducted, is actually uh, managed by the Japanese government. And um, the commercial whaling moratorium does not apply 
uh, to the activities. So as long as commercial oiling moratorium provision 10E is concerned, uh, we have uh, uh, abided by that uh, decision and uh, uh, continue to be so, and no uh, commercial whaling is conducted uh, on the whales uh, subject to the uh, management by International Whaling Commission. Uh, the, about the uh, uh, science, uh, yes, the, uh, uh, the, the number of whales for some species are established by the scientific committee and abundant enough uh, to be uh, sustainably utilized. Um, however, the, in the discussion about RMP, revised management procedure, we hope that the, the data we provide to the scientific committee is uh, good enough so the scientific committee and the uh, uh, IWC itself says, yes, now you can go ahead uh, with whaling. Uh, but was uh, uh, keep denied for a long time since the adoption of uh, moratorium. And um, always, uh, well, the, the reason for the denial is you don't have uh, this uh, scientific uh, uh, data or this scientific part is uh, still uncertain. Uh, or uh, you can uh, uh, think about this different scenario about the uh, uh, effects of whaling on whales. Then the, our response was then uh, we will try to collect uh, uh, more data uh, to respond to that uh, additional scientific question. And that has been continuing in the uh, IWC. And uh, from our point of view, uh, if and when IWC accepts uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, data information we have provided to the IWC, there should be a uh, uh, resumption of avoiding for some species at least. And then uh, we have no reason to continue the same uh, form of uh, scientific research activities we have been involved. Mm. The, uh, the current research activities uh, both has the uh, element of a lethal and non-lethal activities. And uh, again, it is not well known that Japan is probably conducting the largest scale non-lethal uh, sighting survey. And we are not just sticking to the lethal activities. When non-lethal uh, research activities are available, and um, from practical uh, reason like uh, budget and um, uh, cost effectiveness, uh, is, uh, uh, we think we can handle, uh, we always use non-lethal activity, non-lethal method. Um, however, again, oftentimes only lethal part of our research activities are emphasized so that uh, uh, our involvement of, uh, in the non-lethal activities are, are not well known, unfortunately. Okay, uh, Dennis, you want to go? Okay, then, then, then I'll go to you. Yeah, yeah go ahead, Dennis. Go ahead. Dennis Normile of Science Magazine. I listened to the uh, presentation by the ICJ uh, court last March, and uh, I don't remember exactly how they put it, but one impression that I have is uh, they felt that the scientific data that was gathered was not in proportion to the number of animals that were being taken. Uh, is, is my memory correct? And uh, is your plan that you will unveil later this year going to take that into account? Does that mean you'll, you will probably be taking small, a smaller number of animals? Uh, second question is, um, as you've pointed out, at least from Japan's standpoint, the IWC has not uh, really implemented the um, the conditions is not followed up on the conditions of the moratorium. Mm -hmm. Have has Japan ever considered taking the IWC to the International Court of Justice? Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the uh, first question about the size of uh, scientific contribution or scientific data, uh, as compared to the number of animals taken in the past, the uh, the ICJ. Uh, decided to follow the view uh, expressed by uh, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, Australia and New Zealand said uh, the, uh, the amount of a scientific contribution should be judged by a, uh, a scientific publications. 
uh, which uh, uh, also went through the peer review. And our argument was, um, well, that's part of a scientific contribution, but because the, this activity is aimed to the uh, conservation and management waiting at the IWC, the scientific contribution should be mainly submitted and assessed by the scientific committee of our international whaling commission. So the major part of a scientific uh, uh, contribution and papers have been uh, submitted to the scientific committee of IWC. And those papers are not regarded as a peer-reviewed scientific publication. So the uh, from our point of view, the uh, scientific committee, uh, I mean, the, our research activities has produced a large amount of scientific contribution to the discussion at the scientific committee. And uh, that was not accepted by the uh, ICJ, unfortunately. Um, the small number of uh, animals are currently taken under the uh, continuing research activities might uh, influence the, for example, accuracy of the data we uh, provide in the future. And the, one of the reasons we decided to uh, follow the uh, reasoning and the conclusion of ICJ is uh, to prove that uh, uh, our original reasoning for the original sample size was correct, uh, meaning if we uh, rely on the non lethal method only or if we reduce the sample size that will affect the accuracy of data. And that, that is probably uh, needs to be uh, proved through our current research activities. So the, uh, sh the smaller, reduced size of the scientific research activities has still uh, the meaning or in the, uh, the reason for existence. And the, your final idea of going to ICJ with attendee uh, yeah, some politicians actually uh, uh, asked us, uh, let's go to the ICJ again and uh, uh, bring the, uh, the International Whaling Commission in front of ICJ. Um, that's interesting and, and, and I like to, uh, but the, when you look at the, the legal framework, for example, uh, you can bring a country uh, to the International Court of Justice. Uh, but you cannot bring an international organization to which you are a member, actually. So you are bringing yourself to the organization, too. And uh, uh, also, the, if you uh, read the uh, uh, 10E language, uh, I'm sure that they, the, the final part is saying that um, the International Waiting Commission uh, to consider the uh, yeah, uh, setting uh, other catch quarter. Mm. And um, uh, I'm sure that someone will say, yeah, we considered and we haven't uh, made any decisions yet after 20 years of a deadline. Um, but the, uh, the first one, the, uh, we cannot bring the international organization to the court is the limitation we have. Thank you. Okay. And lady? Do you want to ask a question? Yeah. You do? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. There's, there's another one. Okay. So, so you, you'll be the last one. Okay, Lane Lees with Reuters. Um, now I know that Japan and you yourself have in the, in the past um, mentioned the possibility of leaving the IWC. I'm interested that you said you now have a responsibility to save the organization. Um, why has the view changed or is leaving the IWC still um, a possibility? Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Elaine, and a nice meeting you again. <laughs> uh, the, uh, my position has not been changing, actually. And um, um, the, I always said I recognize the views of uh, uh, people back in Japan uh, who like to see the, the Japan's withdrawal from IWC. Uh, but I keep saying that uh, that's not probably the op uh, option for us uh, because of our responsibility. And, um, uh, the, uh, and also, I, I also said uh, several times before that uh, we don't have a problem with the uh, convention which established IWC. 
as I presented, and which is confirmed by ICJ now, the objective and purpose of this particular organization is conservation and management of whales. And also, in, this is a very uh, old language of 70 years ago, orderly development of whaling industry. In the current world, this is understood as sustainable utilization of a resource. So the industry utilized that can survive. And we have no problem, or we still support the very basic framework of this International Whaling Commission. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Australia and New Zealand uh, publicly said uh, in the IWC over and over again that they think the IWC uh, or ICRW, that convention language, is too old. And, and that should be amended so that the protection of a whale should be the uh, objective of International Whaling Commission. So logically speaking, uh, we like the convention they don't like. Then uh, they should go out rather than we. That's a logical uh, understanding in my mind. That Thank you. Okay, so this is the last question. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you want to ask a question? Okay, second one, last question. Two more. <laughs> Andy Klein, WCN-TV.com. Uh, plankton reserves have declined 40 to 70% around the world, and whales help regenerate plankton by injecting their feces. Uh, at the same time, an estimated 400,000 tons of carbon is taken from the air due to whale feces, therefore fighting climate change and global warming. Uh, and lastly, because I could go on and on with this, uh, over 160 dead zones, some as large as 70,000 square kilometers exist in our oceans. Mm -hmm. Our oceans are broken. Mm -hmm. So um, going from what we know about this, don't we need whales to make up for the imbalance of our broken oceans. Don't we need more whales in the wild, in the oceans, than out? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, the, this is called uh, ecosystem approach to the uh, uh, ocean management. And um, uh, on the other hand, the uh, traditional way of deciding the catch quota based on the stock size or uh, fish uh, abundance size is called a single species management. And uh, even the IWC is moving toward the uh, uh, ecosystem approach where uh, they look the interaction between different species and the interaction with the environment. And increasingly in the ocean management, uh, we try to keep the level of particular animal, whales or fish or uh, Planktons, uh, so that their role in the ecosystem will be uh, kept. And the, uh, in that case, so-called harvesting quarter uh, might be uh, smaller than the numbers under the so-called single species uh, management approach. And we accept that. And we promote this ecosystem approach uh, in the uh, ocean involving whales. And Japan has been uh, proposing and submitting uh, some prototype of uh, uh, ecosystem models to our uh, International Whaling Commission. So I agree with your uh, way of thinking. But oftentimes, the, this issue is also used or uh, presented as black and white. Uh, because whales contribute to the environment this way, you shouldn't take not uh, one animal. Uh, our way of thinking is uh, if uh, IWC or uh, adopt the ecosystem approach, and, uh, and it, it is clear that now uh, whales are contributing uh, to uh, uh, to addressing the issue of global warming or any other environmental changes, there should be some optimum number, uh, but that does not uh, preclude uh, utilization of animals in our mind, and there might be a higher uh, hurdles for uh, setting a quota, but that again is uh, different from the argument that because this uh, particular animal uh, contribute to this particular part of a, uh, con a environmental conservation, you shouldn't touch it. 
it's almost the same as like an uh, automobile uh, emits a uh, uh, gas uh, exhaustion or global warming uh, gases. So they are harming the environment. So would you say then we should stop all the automobiles to be used? We try to reduce emission. We try to reduce the number rather than prohibit it. But somehow, in the case of avoiding dispute, and sometimes in other situations, uh, always a uh, uh, so called solution is sought as a total prohibition or black and white or dichotomy discussion. And uh, unfortunately, the world is not that simple. Okay, on our last, last question, goes to you. Siegfried Needle, freelancer from Germany. I think uh, uh, the stock of Japanese rail meat is year from year to year is uh, growing, growing. And uh, Japanese people don't, don't eat rail meat. So if normally a company makes every year, uh, cannot sell its product, mm -hmm. makes a loss, it will be closed. So uh, to say, we have to think for the future. We have to think for the future. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a, a very old argument now, and 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 some point I think uh, there must be uh, must be a point to say no. We have to we have to change. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you. Uh, actually, uh, since the beginning of this year, uh, the stock has rapidly decreasing and it's gone now. Maybe thanks to ICJ decision. Uh, so the stockpile, so-called uh, uh, growing stockpile, is now disappeared. And uh, uh, even those who are handling the uh, oil meat uh, is uh, fearing the shortage now. Uh, but in my mind, that's outside of a question. And uh, in a, a very hypothetical situation, to just uh, uh, make the point clear to me is, if we are successful, uh, at IWC, and IWC accepts the sustainable utilization of whales as a form of uh, uh, presenting Japan a uh, some catch quarter. And uh, on that day, uh, it turned out uh, we had no whaling industry re left in Japan. That's fine with me, because this is an issue of a principle for me. And whether the industry exists or industry decides to continue the whaling is a business decision. And what IWC is talking about is a more of an issue of uh, either sustainable use or different perception about a particular issue or that black and white simplification of a very important issue. All those are issues of much larger implications. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, for me, the size of a stock uh, of a whole meat is uh, uh, outside the point of this discussion. Okay. Um I know uh, we are well into the overtime, but um, I'm just tempted to just take the honor of asking very last question since I'm the moderator. Morisha <laughs> um, um, san, uh, I'm just so tempted to ask you this. Um, I think it's very unusual for Japan to be, you know, to show its presence so huge in the international arena. Uh, you said it well, issue is issue of principle, but there are many other issues of principle that Japan is involved in, you know, anti-torture convention, uh, children's uh, right, ivory, beko, other, other issues that Japan is involved in. And uh, I don't see anything similar to what Japan is displaying in IWC. Mm -hmm. I don't know you, you are the person to answer this question, but uh, you know, since you're here, why do you think whale issue became so different from others for Japan? Um, and yet, there are other issues of principles that Japan is involved in. I don't see many issues. Japan is even willing to go stand against the United States on this issue at the IWC, which is also very unusual. Mm -hmm. Why, and again, well, industry itself is very small. So why well is so different for Japan? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I don't think there is a, just one uh, perfect answer to that question. And uh, there are many different factors playing in that uh, uh, aspect of this uh, issue. Um, but what I'm always amazed is the uh, uh, 
this particular issue, as compared to other fisheries issues or other uh, controversial issues, the, uh, the Japan's general public uh, has uh, heard about this issue or have some kind of opinion, or well, even larger part of the Japanese uh, uh, population in general has some exposure or way of thinking about this issue as compared to other mm. issues, interestingly. Mm. And I have been thinking why people uh, get some, uh, pay some attention to this particular issue, uh, even if it's not uh, connected to their daily life, or if, even if it's not the world's most important issue. Um, maybe uh, this issue touched the very deeper part of uh, Japan's, uh, uh, Japanese uh, uh, people's mind in general. Um, you may have also the same experience that uh, when we go to uh, Shinbashi or Ginza and talk to uh, general public or those who uh, uh, may not be expert about this issue, they uh, know the issue to some extent, mm -hmm. somehow. And uh, most of the time they say that I don't need oil meat, but uh, uh, I just cannot bear the uh, U.S. government saying, or Americans saying that you shouldn't eat oil meat while they eat uh, beef and uh, pork. And this is not the logical uh, response uh, because we are handling totally different issue. But uh, if accepting it's not the logical, but that's the widespread uh, mm. sentiment shared by many Japanese, interestingly. Mm -hmm. And why that's happening? Uh, well, in non-Western or non-Caucasian countries, there are always a very baseline of uh, uh, different identity we have vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis, uh, Caucasian countries. Mm -hmm. And try to see some difference or try to uh, keep that identity. Maybe some people see Oiling issue as one of them. And um, another theory I have is uh, the issue of uh, food, what we eat, mm. is probably more important to Japanese than uh, uh, other nations. And uh, we are always proud of uh, Japanese food and uh, uh, the, that's variety and lot, that's long history. And um, uh, uh, for older population, uh, including myself, the eating whole meat it's, uh, I don't say it's culture, but it's a part of a memory uh, of their childhood. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, uh, that experience somehow directly connects to the whaling dispute. Mm. That may be part of it. And um, uh, also, this is human nature. Uh, it's sort of interactive. When you are criticized from outside, uh, sometimes you uh, fight back. Mm. And if you are ignored, you, you will not just fight. And in this case, uh, uh, you see uh, attacks from outside from time to time. And the people see those uh, uh, the, uh, coverage. And um, uh, they might form uh, or they t take the approach of fighting back. And, uh, and as long as general public keeps that uh, uh, attitude, probably that is sort of uh, giving energy to a uh, uh, wedding dispute on the side of uh, mm. Japan. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, we're well into overtime, so uh, uh, thank you for coming. And uh, as a uh, customary, uh, I'd like to present Mr. Morishita a one-year honorary membership, so please have a dr uh, drink with us. Thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Murisha will stay here just, just to exchange uh, uh, Meishi, if you will. Yes. Thank you very and much. Thank you very much for this membership. Uh, well, uh, maybe next time, time I could get a permanent membership. <laughs> uh, also, uh, I have uh, uh, published peer-reviewed document about the interpretation of a moratorium. And I only brought 10, so you have to fight. Uh, I will just put this here. Okay, line up, line up. Okay, <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thanks for coming for the press conference. Thank you.